Today we're looking at 13 of the biggest talents aged 18 and younger from FIFA 20, and seeing where they've ended up five editions later in FC 24. Let's start with the Italian Sebastiano Esposito. In FIFA 20, he played for Inter and was 18 years old with an overall rating of 67, but he had the potential to become a superstar with an overall rating of 87. Esposito is still a young player at just 21 years old. However, it's clear that he hasn't developed as expected since 2019. After various loan spells in Switzerland and Belgium, Esposito now plays in the second division in Italy for the historic Sampdoria. This isn't something to be ashamed of, but compared to the future that was seen in him, this isn't what was hoped for. This season, he played in 21 matches for Sampdoria in Serie B, scoring six goals and providing six assists as a striker. He finishes FC24 with an overall rating of 69, barely an improvement from his FIFA 20 rating of 67. Additionally, his potential has dropped significantly from 87 to a painful 78. Next up is Jeremy Doku, a name that every football fan now knows. In FIFA 20, Doku played for Anderlecht in Belgium, with an overall rating of 69 and a potential of 87. Unlike Esposito, Doku has a positive story. In FIFA 20, he was a young player at Anderlecht who would make his debut for the first team that season. After making the move to Stade Rennes, Doku would prove his talent by having strong seasons and raising his overall rating to 76 before making the big transfer to Manchester City. At Manchester City, he has been heavily involved in the battle for the English title this season. He has played 26 Premier League matches so far, scoring three goals and providing seven assists. His overall rating in FC24 is 79 with a potential of 87, which perfectly fits the upward trajectory he has set in his development as a footballer. With our next player, we stick with the talent pool of Anderlecht. Yari Versharen made his debut in the same match as Jeremy Doku. Unfortunately for Versharen, his career path hasn't been as glorious as Doku's. In FIFA 20, Versharen already started with an overall rating of 73 at the age of 18 and a potential overall of 87. He emerged as one of the big new Belgian football talents. Unfortunately, he hasn't progressed into the player that some expected him to become in recent years. A serious injury in 2023 didn't help matters, but looking at his development over the years, we see his potential decreasing further and his overall rating staying about the same. This season, Versharen only played in 15 league matches for Anderlecht, where he provided five assists. This season, Versharen finishes with an overall rating of 73 and a potential of only 80. The next player on the list is Liverpool's Harvey Elliott. In FIFA 20, he was only 17 with an overall rating of 64, but a bright future was predicted for him with a potential overall of 87. Elliott has built his career nicely and has made good progress every year. In FIFA 20, he was still a youth player at Liverpool with a lot of potential, but a low overall rating. He was loaned to Blackburn Rovers, where he gained valuable minutes in the second tier of English football. He then returned to Liverpool, and over the past three seasons, he has become a key player under Klopp. This season, he has been good for three goals and four assists in 32 Premier League matches. A nice contribution in a season that will ultimately end disappointingly without any trophies for Liverpool. In FC 24, Elliott has slightly lowered his potential. Although he has made significant strides and has grown from a 64 overall to a 77 overall, his potential has dropped to an 85 overall. For the next player, we stay in Liverpool with Ryan Gravenberg. In FIFA 20, Gravenberg emerged as a youth player from the Ajax Academy, where his talent quickly became evident. In FIFA 20, at the age of 18, he had an overall rating of 70, and like the others so far, a potential of 87. Gravenberg developed into one of the key players under coach Eric Ten Hag at Ajax, which earned him a potential of 90 in FIFA 22. He then moved to Bayern Munich, where he spent a year mostly on the bench. For this season, he made the switch to Liverpool, where he has played 24 Premier League matches so far and scored one goal. His year as a substitute at Bayern has mainly cost him in his potential, which has dropped to 86, and his current overall rating is 79. Next, we have two players who are unfortunately no longer found in FC24 and previous editions, goalkeeper Manuel Gasparini and winger Moi Hatterin. Gasparini played for Udinese in FIFA 20 and was regarded as one of the greatest goalkeeping talents with a golden future ahead. Unfortunately, he never progressed beyond one Serie A appearance for Udinese. Since then, he has played on the third level in Italy, which is why we can't find him in FC24. The story of Ihaterin is even sadder. After a promising start to his career and being widely praised, 
Ihadarin has struggled with the professional side of football. In FIFA 21, the first cracks began to show, and from FIFA 22, things went downhill. After a move from PSV to Italy, Ihadarin ended up at Ajax on loan from Juventus. In FIFA 22, his potential dropped to 83 as he couldn't get his career on track, despite retired footballers trying to help him out. In FIFA 23 and FC 24, he isn't even found anymore as he is without a club after a brief stint at Slavia Prague. His problems unfortunately extend beyond the football field, and his story sadly never progresses beyond what could have been. Our next player on the list is Adam Hlozek. The Czech striker played in his homeland at the age of 17 in FIFA 20, with Sparta Prague, where he already had an impressive overall rating of 74 and a potential of 88. Although the Czech youngster hasn't done badly in recent years, we can't yet speak of a fulfilled promise on his talent. The striker moved from Sparta Prague to Bayer Leverkusen in the summer of 2022, where he had a limited role in the German champion's magical season this year. Klozek played 23 matches in the Bundesliga, but had a limited contribution as a striker with two goals and three assists. In FC 24, while his overall rating has risen to 77, his potential has dropped to 83, a considerable decline. Now let's move on to the top five talents of FIFA 20 who were 18 years old or younger. In this top five, we see varying levels of success. We start with Pedri from Barcelona. In FIFA 20, he was on loan at Las Palmas at the age of 17, with an overall rating of 72 and a potential of 89. Although Pedri has had a disappointing season due to a serious knee injury, his class is beyond doubt. He is indeed one of the bigger success stories on this list. In FC24, he is rightly valued with an overall rating of 86 and a potential of 92, all at the age of 21. Let's hope he comes back strong from his injury and can continue to grow even further than what is currently seen in him. The Spaniard's class is evident, and he is expected to become a new Spanish star in the coming seasons. In fourth place, we have Bukayo Saka, who still plays for Arsenal just like in FIFA 20. In FIFA 20, he was rated with an overall of 78 and a potential of 89 at the age of 18. We can safely say that Saka has fulfilled this promise in the early years of his career. Last season, Saka has emerged as one of the top players in the Premier League and a key player for Arsenal. In FC 24, he's already close to his potential overall from FIFA 20 with an 86 rating. Additionally, his potential has increased to 90. This season, Saka is having another strong campaign as Arsenal competes for the title with City. At the time of writing, he has played 34 Premier League matches this season, scoring 16 goals and providing 9 assists. Next up, we have Mason Greenwood at number 3 on the list. In FIFA 20, he was known as one of Manchester United's biggest talents in recent seasons. At that time, he was 18 years old with an overall rating of 74 and a potential of 89. Anyone who has followed football in recent years knows what has happened with Greenwood. He was suspected of serious offenses, but never convicted. Now, the Brit is back in action as a footballer, loaned out by Manchester United to Getafe. Here, he played 29 matches in La Liga, scoring 8 goals and providing 6 assists, but he also received a red card. In FC 24, Greenwood is rated with an overall of 78 and a potential of 85, so despite several years without playing, Greenwood still holds up fairly well. Whether he should be allowed to play is a matter of personal opinion. In second place, we find a player who is supposed to be one of the many Brazilian gems for Real Madrid, Rainier. In FIFA 20, he had just arrived from Flamengo for 25 million. At that time, he was 18 years old with an overall rating of 72 and a potential of 90. Unfortunately, Rainier has not been successful in the past few seasons. He has been loaned out to Dortmund for two years and to Girona for one year, but without great success. This year, we find him at Frosinone. For Frosinone, he has played 19 matches in Serie A so far, scoring two goals and providing two assists. There isn't much left of the talent he was in FIFA 20. His overall has dropped to 71, and his potential has decreased from 90 to 81. Quite a decline indeed. Before we announce the number one player, we have two honorable mentions who were not included in the top 13 talents aged 18 and under in FIFA 20 due to their potential, but who have both built remarkable careers and are now at the absolute top. We're talking about Camavinga and Gavardiol. Camavinga was estimated to have a potential of 86, and he has since achieved an overall rating of 83, with a potential of 90. Gavardiol was estimated to have a potential of 85, 
and in FC24, he now has an overall rating of 82 with a potential of 88. For the greatest talent in FIFA 20, we return to a product of La Masia in Barcelona, Ansu Fati. In FIFA 20, Ansu Fati broke through as a 17-year-old in Barcelona's first team, where he had an overall rating of 73 and a potential of 90, with four-star skill moves and a four-star weak foot. He is currently on loan at Brighton and Hove Albion. He's been injured a lot and hasn't yet become what was once expected of him. But he's still very young and who knows, he might still go far. In FC24, he is still valued with a potential of 88. However, he has barely improved over the past few years, reaching an overall of 77. At the time of writing, he played 17 out of 32 matches for Brighton in the Premier League, scoring twice. And with Ansu Fadi, we've come to the end of this video. Which talents did you expect to reach the top but never fulfilled their promise? Or conversely, who did you not expect to go far but still reached the top of football? Let us know in the comments below the video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video!